Well, it is Wallet Wednesday, and you know it's time to take a break from all these results for a bit and focus on how the elections could impact your investments. The economy has been a large part of the uh, talking points on the campaign trail, so let's look at it this morning. At last check, uh, the Dow opened the day here. If I don't know if we can get an update from the booth, I have not had a chance to check. It's up for the morning, uh, I'm being told. So we want to check in live this morning with uh, a closer look at how politics is affecting the stock market. Portland State University economic professor Dr. Hiro Ito joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. So how does the outcome of this election, or I guess this morning, the, the uncertainty in this election, we should say, uh, how could it be affecting stocks? Yes, uh, you just said the word uncertainty, and that's what we are experiencing. And investors don't like uncertainty. So that means that as long as we have no idea who's going to become the next president, and that can ha send some negative signals to the market. Um, so that's what's going on. Okay, well, and the stock market, you know, is not the economy. How do you think the broader U.S. economy will perform in the near future, given what's happening right now with this uncertainty that we're seeing? Right. Um, economists nowadays use the alphabet letters to describe how the U.S. economy is going to recover. Uh, at least we uh, economists tend to agree that the U.S. economy is not going to experience a V-shaped recovery. And more recently, what economists are talking about is that we're going to experience a recovery that looks like the letter K. So what that means is that the economy plunges, then some sectors or some industries or some people in the economy came back and continue to grow robustly. And some other group of people or industries or companies, they just continue to stagnate and they have no chance to uh, have a steady recovery for some time. So this uh, letter K like a recovery is what we are experiencing at this point. So what this means is that the income gap between those who have and those who have not is expected to continue to grow then that means that there can be a deeper and wider rifts between um, those who have and those who have not, then um, that can create a lot of stress uh, to the U.S. economy. Yeah, so, so that, that widening rift, that stress on the economy, uh, do you expect that to have any impact globally? I mean, we, we do have a, a global economy and a global stock market, so will this have any repercussions overseas? Yes. Um, Right now, the rest of the world is watching how we are doing, how the election is going, who's going to be the next president. And also, people are focusing on whether the US is going to experience a peaceful transfer of power. So if uh, the transfer is not going to take place peacefully, if there are some political or legal battles, then that can create some uncertainty. Then that kind of uh, uncertainty can send vibration to the rest of the world. And the US economy accounts for, <clears throat> accounts for 20% of the world economy. So if the US economy, for whatever the reason is, uh, stagnates, then that can have a huge impact on the rest of the economy. Mm, OK, well, what should individual <clears throat> investors be doing right now? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I say do nothing because uh, we are experiencing what we call high volatility, which means that we are experiencing lots of ups and downs. So in this kind of situation, it's very difficult to predict where the economy is heading. So in that kind of situation, it's very hard to make profits from your uh, investment. Uh, if the stock market rises like today, then on the next day, people may think that, okay, the stock price is high, so why don't we start selling? Then it can go down. Or if we experience a, a stock market price is going down, then investors may think that, okay, now prices are so low, why don't we start buying? Then the stock market prices can start rising. So what that means is that we, we can be uh, having a lot of ups and downs. So such a high volatility is, again, what stock market investors don't, do not want to see. Yeah. Okay. So everybody just uh, hold on, hang in there and, mm -hmm. uh, and no panicking today. Dr. Ito, thank you. We appreciate the insight and the reassurance this morning. And uh, for more investment tips, of course, check out our Wallet Wednesday segments on the AM Extra section of coin.com. Thanks. Have a good one.